Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Toowoomba Hockey Association. It's another great Friday evening here in Toowoomba, and tonight we've got the clash between Red Lions and North Hockey Club. My name is Matt Cook, and I'm the Regional Hockey Manager here at Toowoomba Hockey Association. I'm joined by Kirsty Tulpit from Rangeville Hockey Club. How are you going, Kirst? Hello, I'm very well, thanks, Cookie. Good That's to the be way. Here. Got the bye this week for Rangeville. That's it. So what else would I rather do than come back on out here and watch a bit of hockey? Fantastic. And how did you go last week in your first game of the season? Yeah, great. We had a 4-1 win, which is always, it's always a good way to start the season. And um, Yeah, a couple of goals. It's always nice as well. So Rangeville played Norse last week, am I right? So That's you've right. got a bit of insight into Norse, Kirst. So I'll, I'll ask you a couple of players to watch. You first-hand knowledge from last week. So who are we looking out for tonight? All right, so they've got Ella in the, in the middle. Um, she's back again tonight she she really did control control the middle for them last week and as I expect she will again this week Bree Sui who's actually on the ball at the moment she um, always one to watch and a couple of players back from from a couple of years off we've got the the Jager girls Hayley and, and Dimity Hayley now Morris um, so yeah good good team to to get sort of a bit of, I guess they're looking to just get their teamwork together again and build from there. Yeah, there's definitely a few fresh faces this year, which is good to see, and, and obviously welcome a few members back to Toowoomba Hockey, and then also welcome some new members. So um, Tash Lombards, their, their goalkeeper, she's moved to, to the region this year. Um, and I believe uh, Serena Robinson as well in the white shoes is, is also new to the region. So great to, uh, great to welcome some new members to our association. And obviously up against them tonight, Red Lion. So Red Lion's pretty experienced outfit there tonight. Heidi Phillips on the ball, ever reliable defender for, for Red Lion. Missing Rach McCready though. So um, big loss for, for Red Lion. Um, always does well in the midfield and, and controls the game. She's uh, she's in Newcastle watching her son play for Queensland, which is pretty cool. I know she's very exciting, very fun. proud. She'll she'll be a, almost local at Newcastle now. Um, no, if I take that back, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Were you guys there for for Masters? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. So she, yeah, a couple of weeks ago in in Newcastle for Masters as well. Oh, very good. How'd you go? Well, my team went exceptionally. We had the had the win of the, the national titles. So Queensland beat, beating New South Wales is always a good feeling. Absolutely. Whatever sport, whenever, it's always good to beat the, uh, the boys or the girls in blue. Now, I could be wrong. But it looks like Morgan Goodsell might be the goalie again for, for, for Red Lions. What do you what do you think, Kirst? It does look like it could be. And immediately Norths have had more success than Rangeville did the last time we played against her. With an early goal. So Norths take the lead, one goal to nil. Good start from the ladies in green, green and white. Rocking their, their vintage strip. It's their 50th year this year, I believe, Northern Suburbs Hockey Club. So... Um, to commemorate the, the 50th year, they've got a vintage playing shirt. Going back to their original original men's jersey was was very similar to, to this. So Cool. And a great start. So North take the lead. As we said, plenty of fresh faces and, and welcoming back plenty of talent. So they'll be keen to, to establish some combinations. And, and surely after last week's first game of the season, they'll be improving their combinations with some new players integrating some experienced ones. You see Shea Fielder now on the ball. She's at the fullback position. She goes to hit through the midfield and finds Ella White. She loves to hit. I can I can attest to that. <laughs> Cop, copped a hit from her last week. It's still bothering me now. So <laughs> plenty of power. Good, good strong, good strong hit on young Shea. Free hit given by umpire Ebony Panzeram. Quickly taken by Jiminy, but. Not under control and... Opportunity here, man higher, intercepts, ball into the circle. Jagger with the shot. Just wide. Bit of early pressure here for Norts. So it looks to be Beck Denny outletting for, for Red Lion. 
Throws it forward. Heidi Phillips gets a touch, but Ella White in a battle, in a tussle. Ella White gets the ball. Unable to control it fully, but Emily Manhai picks it up. Opts to transfer, but intercepted by Lyon. Bree Sui working back, wins the ball using her speed. Cuts in field. Throws it into the pocket. Robinson on the ball. Dumps it back. Kirsty Hunter now for Red Lions. Intercepts the ball. Red so Lions Hunt. working hard to get it out of that pocket. St stuck in defence, but working it out. Touch by Norths over the sideline, so Red Lions relieve a little bit of pressure there. It's great to see plenty of loyal viewers tonight. Can see an early comment from Rach tuning in from, from Newcastle. Hope you're well, Rach. Hope Hayden and the rest of the Queensland boys are going well. Now we want to make tonight's live stream as interactive as possible. So if you, if you can't get out to Toowoomba Hockey tonight, feel free to leave a comment below in the live stream with your player to watch. And then as the game progresses, we'd love for you to vote on player of the match and young gun, young gun of the match as well. So don't be afraid to, to leave a comment or even a score prediction as well. What's your score prediction tonight, Kirst? Well, with, with North's one up and, and already uh, just earned themselves a short corner, they're looking, looking pretty positive. But we all know that Red Lions have that never-say-die attitude. So I, I reckon it's going to be close. Let's, let's say 2-1 to, to North. 2-1 to North. Bit of love for, for North in the comments. Lee Butler, go the Devils. And uh, up on field two, we've got uh, Newtown up against past high in the men. So we'll endeavour to try and keep an eye on that. And if we see any goals, we'll, we'll let you guys know as well. Emmy Tummin showing a bit of love for, for Norths as well. As we see the ball injected, laid off to the left. Goal mouth scramble, Robinson with the shot, saved by Goodsell. Ella White on the ball, throws it in. Jaeger <laughs> gets in a bit of a tangle. Bounces it up in, into her own body. <laughs> Playing a bit of baseball. Heidi with the early outlet, goes to the right half. Looks back to Heidi. He's under pressure by Dimity. Liz Gripsky in the comments. Go Lions and Kira. Kira Nichols out there tonight at left defender for Red Lions. Good to see another young gun getting an opportunity. Obviously, with a bit of COVID around, school holidays, national junior tournaments, it's, um, there's opportunities with players out, and it's great to see young guns getting those opportunities. So, Kira Nichols out there tonight, Felicity Kosh, Mike Connor, Jasmine Kosh, from a, from a Red Lions perspective, Shay Fielder, from a, from a North perspective, is under 18 as well, Jane Butler. It's out there at the moment, so great to see plenty of juniors getting an opportunity to step up and take the opportunity. Red Lions looking to make their way up into their attack for, for the first time in a little while. Norths have done a good, good job just to break that down and earn themselves a hit. Jay opts to go transfer to the right half to Butler. Throws it down the line. Mog gets in front of her player. Good tackle from Nichols though, wins the ball. Nichols goes back to Phillips. Cross to Denny. Good use of the whole width of the field there. Mike Connor wins the, wins the contest. She'll have an opportunity here. Onto the backhand. She loves a Toma. She shoots and scores. Mike Connor with the backhand goal. Levels it up. One goal apiece. Great finish from Connor. Potentially looks like 
Looked like the defence kind of screened the goalkeeper. Looked like she didn't have full vision of that one. But a great finish. And Lee Butler in the comments. Go Jane. Janie Butler. So one all here. Maybe your 2-1 predictions uh, is a good one. Yeah, or it could be a bit <laughs> underdone. Yeah, could maybe. end up 5-4. <laughs> Early goals, which we like to see. Yeah. Good for the neutral. Bree Suey gets a touch, but unable to control. And Elga, long-time supporter of Toowoomba Hockey, obviously down in Brisbane now. Go Curse, bit of support for the commentator. <laughs> Thanks, Elka. She would have been here with me if she was still in Toowoomba, I'm sure of it. Oh, she surely should have come up to commentate oh, if she, did, she had uh, the Friday night off. did say I might have called her and, and got a bit of expert opinion through the phone, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll have to get her on the phone for the half-time analysis. <laughs> Keep your phone at, at the ready, Elk. Liz Gripsky, plenty of support for the Lions. So North with the, the restart, up to go back and around. Bit of a bouncy ball, but Butler does well to, to take it into control. Throws it to Suey. Suey bursts forward. Throws it into the pocket. Just unable to connect there. Goes over the back line. Heidi Phillips, good skills to beat two. Puts it on the foot, wins a free hit. Working it out herself, surrounded by Green. Mm. Does a great job to Great ball to though. Win. Oh, just a critical intervention there by Morris. Got a little nick on it. Took the ball away from Felicity Kosh. Right, Red Lions trying to work their way into the circle. Good touch by North to keep them out. Free hit to Red Lions. Heidi and Dimity got the battle happening again. It'll be an ongoing one for the night from the look of things. Third man obstruction there, so it gives North the, the opportunity to outlet, taking it up the left. Emily Manhire earning, earning her team a hit for Ella to do the overhead up to just not not into space. So Red Lions have earned the earned the free hit. Good patience by Red Lions, just going around, transferring it around, keeping the ball moving. Nice little touch by Manhire onto Jager. His strength on the ball has really given her the opportunity to keep keep possession and keep moving it on. Manhai has given it a touch to get it into that circle. 
rely on have controlled it and working their way out. Taylor Butt on the ball. Back to Fielder. North on the quick attack. Got this turnover happening really well. Great work by Red Lion Defence again. A few good opportunities there for North. Red Lion just working hard to get it out. Right, as the ball moves into position, North are really trying to spread the red line defence, getting a couple high, which gave them the opportunity to make that square ball. Around the back again, but red line have really shifted really well to, to close the gaps down ball over the sideline gives them the opportunity to control it again. And that's quarter time. Give the girls a rest. One all here on field one. Hey guys, my name's Jasper. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. Here we are, back for the start of the second quarter. Red Lions just pushing it up their end just to try and block it, block it down there and get a bit of get a bit of attack happening. They have gone for the fall away press, waiting for Bud to do the big hit. She opts to go wide and they get it up the sideline nicely. But Phillips does the beautiful work of just cleaning it up as she does. Good job.
North's going for the really hard press down in that left corner. Let's see if Lions can work their way out. Nice back four has, has worked it right across to the right and earning a free hit, Beck Denny. Good early ball by Red Lion, have got them right up into their 25. My corner on the ball and earning itself a hit. Police over the ball and working it up. Manhai has taken that from her and made herself a little bit of space. Passing on to Sui. Take the ball up with pace. Looking to get it to that left post, not quite, doesn't quite have the person there where they need it, but really they were, they were working their way up and good numbers in attack for North. Lindsay Clancy on the ball. Both teams looking looking to go a little long. Norths probably need to remember how they started with really linking up a bit more. Let's see if they can work that back. Right, North's with the ball out, out wide. Red Line do that, are doing really hard press again. But North has done a great job in, in getting it around. Butler on the ball. Denny's. Hard up the sideline, gives North the opportunity to take it from the, the left here. Ella back on the field in the middle. Let's see if she can get it to her straight away. Strong play by Red Lion there, but well defended by Shea Fielder. Discovery we made in the in the quarter time break is that we've got Shea's mum Christy on in the goal for, for North. are on the attack they've got numbers and great early ball but very well defended outletting not as ideal as you would hope but good good tenacity to keep working that out
Early ball by Ainsley. Manhack just controlling that, using some skill. doing a good job of getting to that ball first. Just popping it over the sideline though, gives Red Lion another opportunity to, to try and piece together a couple of couple of passes to to each other. It's not not quite coming off at the moment. I think they, they're going to be building and trying to look just to keep working it up. Great intercept by Butler. Looking hard. Makes a pass to the right, player free out there, who gets it back across to Butler. Picks on the top. Another scramble in defense by Red Lion. Done well to clear it out of that circle. North with ball on the sideline inside the 25. Great tackle by Red Lion there. Now they're looking to get up and get into attack. Numbers on her, does a really great job to get herself a bit of space and make her pass to the right. Ross going for that ball up the line again, but cleaned up by Red Lion. Great little touch by Bree. Good to string a few passes together. And an excellent transfer as well. Manhire on the ball. Coming up the left for North. Shut down by Red Lion. But they still have the opportunity. Got the ball up inside their 25. Pass to Butler, trying to work it into the corner, into the circle, at least looking for a corner or a shot. Has the shot saved by Morgan Lee Goodsell. Saved again, well done. Great save from Goodsell.
So red line now. Pressing hard, Felicity Kosh gets the steal. Wins a free hit. Takes it quickly. Throws it in, into the circle. Opportunity now for Mike Connor. She shoots. And she scores. Mike Connor with her second goal of the game. Gives Red Lion the lead, two goals to one. And a score update up on field two. Newtown, the men leading past high. Two goals to nil. A good response from Newtown after a pretty tough, tough one last week. Went down six goals to one to Red Lion. So good turnaround. Not a feeling that um, Newtown would know well. I don't think it, I think it's been a pretty long time since they've sort of seen six goals against them. Yeah, a bit of a changing of the guard this year. I think there's a a number of more experienced players that are stepping down into A2 and some younger players or some less experienced players stepping up. As we see here, Norse, another attack in the circle, but a bit of a goal mouth scramble and a clearance from, from Red Lions. Heidi Phillip does enough. Can't clear though. Taylor Butt on the ball, looking looking for someone to make that lead, get to some space. Doesn't quite link up. Emily Payne couldn't get on the end of that one. But yeah, with their, their normal goalkeepers away, Bobby Hamlet's obviously at Nationals. School holidays probably means Alyssa, Ro Alyssa Rowlandson's probably not here from A2, from Red Lions. So Morgan Goodsell stepping up again and, and helping out in the, in the net. She's not obviously a normal goalkeeper, so what that means for, for Norse is they've got to be really smart in the circle and try and get results. And if they're from a low percentage chance, maybe a short corner is a really viable option rather than forcing a shot from, from you know, a poor angle. Yeah, we've only seen the one corner so far for the, for the game, coming up to half time. It'll be definitely something that, that the teams do need to start considering. So he eliminates one, throws it forward. Emily Payne, she's a quick player, using her speed. Dimi Agar in there, couldn't get a touch, but off a defender, so it'll be a long corner. Brees Louie now, not sure what's going on there. Look to maybe first time deflection, maybe. Hasn't quite, quite come off. Maybe an opportunity here for Norse. Heidi Phillips has just given herself a quick break before half time. One of their more experienced defenders has stepped off, but Ainsley Clancy now on the ball for Red Lion. Out to Kira Nichols. Down the line she goes, but Morris gets a touch, knocks it over the sideline. Here on the ball, looking for some support. We've got Hunter next to her. Let's see if they can work it up the field together. Jess Clee's on the ball. It's a loose challenge there from Connor. <laughs> Just under a minute to go here. Inside the last minute, North have made made the way up a little bit. So Mog now on the ball, slaps it infield. Strong press by Red Lion again, but just that ball popping through.
Clancy. Long, strong hit to Connor. Well tackled though from Butler. 10 seconds to go for Norse. Throws it down the line, but Amy does well to intercept. Knocks it over the sideline. And that'll do us for the action in the first half. So we'll be back very shortly for more action in the second half. The score is two goals to one on field one in the women's comp. And the halftime score in the men's is three goals to nil with Newtown leading past high. We'll be back soon. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. statement from the champs as the red lions showed they haven't lost their touch after making the newtown boys pay on missed opportunities last weekend we just needed to control the ball more we looked deadly when we controlled the ball we played our tempo but red lions are pretty hot this season we were under strength um so we caught up a few of our reserve grade players and they did their job and um yeah i guess um the pre-season training is um starting to come off the reigning premiers say they need to focus on doing the basics well if there are any chance on defeating Norths in tomorrow night's grand final rematch. I think um, just coming in with the right attitude um, in the game, um, keeping to our game plans. I think our strongest is definitely in the midfield. Um, we've got probably the strongest midfield in the comp. In other games, Newtown will take on past high in an attempt to claim their first win of the year. The boys say they'll need to get more points on the board if they want to be contenders this year. Finishing in the circle, that was, that was a pretty big letdown for us. We just couldn't finish in the circle. If we can finish in the circle, we'll be clinical, we'll get goals. That's how you win games. Josh McPaul says training has been focusing on holding momentum against the younger side. I haven't really seen them much, so I can't tell you too much about them. But they're going to be a good game and we're ready to come spring back off a 6-1 loss against Red Lions. Lucas Saman, 7 News. Toowoomba Hockey Club, your club yeah. for your community. Toowoomba Hockey Club's the place where the excitement never stops. Hit the jack, park jack, you won't look back. You know they've got the light. Toowoomba Hockey Club. Go hockey, get lucky. Toowoomba Hockey Club. Go hockey, get lucky. Toowoomba Hockey Club. Go hockey, get lucky. Toowoomba Hockey Club. Boundary Road, Toowoomba. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet.
Welcome back to the second half action here between Red Lion and, and North Hockey Club. North getting us underway here. So Kirsty, obviously you were here for, for the first half and what, what were your thoughts on the first half and, and what's a Red Lion need to try and do to, uh, to extend their lead and, and get control in the game? Yeah, look, I, the thing I probably most noticed with both teams is that really um, the connecting up with their passing has really dropped off. I think they started off, um, both, both teams started off really making their passes stick and as we've moved along, um, the, the passing has just maybe trying to go a bit too long. Um, yeah, still, still getting yeah. transfers happening, but probably the, the point from there hasn't, hasn't really worked. For Red Lion to extend their lead, I think Mike Connor probably needs to get involved a little bit more. She's been electric when she's on the ball but just hasn't, hasn't seen enough, enough ball. So that, that definitely comes from working there when they are coming out of defense, working it through the midfield to try and get it to her rather than going directly to her. Yeah, definitely. Um, an opportunity here now. Norse now in this circle, Jaeger looks to go across, unable to get a touch on it. So Norse with an early raid an early opportunity. If you were involved with the Norse group, Kirst, who, what would your advice be or what would you be looking to do to, to get back into this contest? I, I think that really they probably need to, a couple of things they need to work on. So when Red Lion have, have the ball out wide, which seems to have happened quite, quite a lot, um, they're setting up, but balls are getting through. Now, as I just mentioned, a lot of them aren't getting too two players but that will come if if Norths don't sort of tighten that up so maybe just working to get get their their presses working a little bit better yep definitely and just while we, while we started the second second half in up on field two I believe past high have just scored so three goals to one in favor of Newtown I believe up on field two still two goals to one here on field one Ainsley Clancy here now looking to hit through that press of Norse and they're able to play through the press. So as you said, maybe need to be a little bit tighter in the press, but a good interception now from Molly White. Ball gets through to Payne. Benny, Denny, <laughs> Ben Denny, Benny <laughs> jumps in front of her opposition and, and does enough to repel the attack. But Emily Payne fights back and wins a free hit. She throws it forward, but no one's able to get on the end of that one. And apologies to Painey and Janie, who yet again I have been confusing the entire first half. Um, so just every time I said Jane Butler, I probably meant Emily Payne. Sorry about that, girls. <laughs> Lookalikes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they would be used to it. I played with them in Cobb Grand Vale Challenge last year, and I did it for most of those <laughs> games as well. Old lady syndrome. So Shea Fielder here looking to take the, the long corner. Throws it forward, but Kirsty Hunter clears. Down the other end of the field. It'll North be a North ball. free start. North ball, but they have moved their way. Haven't made a massive effort to get back to get this going quickly. So it gives Red Lions time to set their defence. Let's see if they can close those gaps up. And um, I suppose a new addition to this year's competition is our major sponsorship of our A1 Conf. So it hasn't happened for a few years, but Toowoomba Hockey is lucky enough to have a major sponsor for A1 this year, and that's Bus Queensland. So a big thank you to Bus Queensland for supporting the, the competition and, and making this year's A1 
comp even bigger and better. And there's going to be some exciting initiatives coming up in the next few weeks in regards to their sponsorship as we cut to the action here. Mike Connor taken out as she went to shoot. And uh, free hit to the defence. I heard Ebony say you can't play on the ground. I'm not sure about that, but free hit to the defence. Um, so Norse will get us underway. Big opportunity there for Red Lion. And as, as we were saying, super excited to have Bus, Bus Queensland on board this year as a, as a major partner. And, and it's definitely hoping to, to continue to build our relationship with Bus Queensland to, to betterment hockey here in Toowoomba. Man high, cuts in field, hits it down into the circle. Mog, a little bit of a loose first touch, unable to control it. A 16 yard hit. Control it, a 16 yard hit. Ainsley Clancy on the ball. Goes for the long ball and again just over a sideline, giving North the opportunity to take take that free hit again. All right, time for you though, those at home, to have a bit of a bit of input. Let's. Get some of your calls through. Who, who you think has played well so far this this game, and what you want to see going forward? Prediction for the next goal scorer. Tess Hanair, I see you watching. Let's let's get something from you there. G'day, Hagrid. <laughs> oh, looks like a card. Green card here. Green card and a quarter, and a quarter here. Yep, red line played played quickly while Norse was still complaining about the the card and earned themselves a corner. Let's go, Ray! Right, got Mai with the push out. Phillips with the trap and Clancy at the top ready for a hit. We'll see if they go for any options. Yeah, I think I'll predict a straight hit here by the looks of it. Yep. Oh, missed trap. Gannon throws it forward into the circle. Clancy had the shot, but it was off the foot of a Red Lions attacker, so 16 yard restart to Norse. Shea Fielder to get us underway here. Mike Connor gets a little nick on it. Over the sideline, Norse to take. The Lion have got it back. Let's see if they can work their way up. A tackle from White. Line on the ball outside the 25. Heidi Phillips intercepts for Lions. Transfers to Denny. Bud back on the field, Eleven. bringing Norths back to 11. They've done really well to keep keep Lions out while, while they've been a player short. Opportunity here, three on two. Robinson throws it forward into the circle. Mog with the shot, Mog with the goal! Great counter attack, plenty of speed from the young forward line. Norths level it up, two goals apiece.
With seven minutes to go here, things are heating up. Two goals apiece. So Norse went down last week, looking to try and hit back this week with a, with a win, get on the board for 2022. And Lions played out a two-all draw, I think, last week with Newtown. So both teams looking for their first win of the season. And both, you know, with a real genuine opportunity to, to get the first win. I think it'll be the team who, who takes control of this game. You just probably need one or two players really to step up and, and just settle things down and, and control it. And take their team with them into a bit of attack. Absolutely. I think um, momentum control is is an area of the game that we don't put a lot of time and emphasis in, but in, in tight contests and tight games, it can really make a, a huge difference. So talking about the, the speed that a team takes a free hit, do they take it quickly? Do they slow it down, get some control? When you win the ball, do you try and avoid a, a double turnover? So play the percentage pass to, to keep possession rather than forcing the game and risking a, another attack coming at your tiring defence. Is your defence organised so that you, you have control when you're out of possession? There are a few things that will be really interesting to see which team does it better in the last 20, 25 minutes of the game. To see who gets, who gets the win tonight. Ainsley Clancy goes hard right through the middle of the press. Fleur Kosh up. Felicity, Felicity sorry. Felicity up there. Fleur will probably be here tonight. <laughs> oh, I think she's actually watching. I, I did see her on the live stream, so shout out to Fleur. Felicity up there. Just couldn't quite get a hold of that ball from Clancy. Norse out letting them go to the right. Throw it down the line. Nichols now on the ball. And throws it down the line, but unable to connect. Norse will get us underway. Phillips offering a little bit of coaching on, on the run. I really like to see that, giving giving her young teammates a bit of bit of advice as we go. Great receive on the outside there by Manhire. Oh, physical talent challenge from Gannon. Umpire says play on. And I still on the ball. Makes the pass off to Mog. Pops it up the line. To uh, other Mog? Mog, yep. <laughs> Phoebe Mog in the yeah, pocket. Bailey to Phoebe. Bailey on the ball now. Brianna Sui. Does well, gets to space, throws it across to the right-hand side to Jaeger. Cuts into the circle, but Heidi Phillips is strong in her tackle. But first pass out of defence, gives Norse another opportunity. Throws it into the circle. A bit of chaos there, but Norse, uh, but red line's clear. Now an opportunity to counter-attack here. Felicity Kosh throws it forward, but Shea Fielder, well positioned, got in front of Mike Connor. Read well. Again, first pass though, that's another turnover. So Norse now, well intercepted though. Beck Denny, but just unable to, to hit that target with the first pass. We spoke about it. Might need to start a start a raffle, see if we can get <laughs> three passes. Um, <laughs> opportunity now, Mog. Um, we're at zero. Unable to control. All right, let's see how North set up here. I, I'm expecting a big big hit. So Molly White, Molly White to get us underway from the sideline. 
Looks for her sister, Ella. Ella just unable to connect there and get possession. Heidi Phillips intercepts, passes out to Gannon. Gannon, ball finds its way to Hunter. Hunter goes back to Phillips in the middle. Phillips wins a free hit, good control. Tackle from my corner. Probably wanted to, to keep going there. And the team, the free hit inside the 25. Let's see what they can do with this. Opportunity now, quick shot. Umpire says play on. It looked like the goal, the, the ball was knocked off the goalkeeper. Up into a defender as we see an opportunity now for Norse on the counter attack. Payne with the shot. Oh, just wide. So just wide there. Red lines to get us underway. Could have really struck a blow if, if North had to put that away there. Red line would potentially have been feeling disappointed about not earning mm. a bit of mm. bit of love up, up in their attacking end and then to have it run away. Probably indicative of the game, quite, um, yeah, it's just even, go, going both ways, a little bit end to end. But. Opportunity now. Give me with a shot, and a goal! Morgan Lee with the first, first save, just couldn't, couldn't manage the second one. And Mog on the spot, so you get the lead for Norse. Three goals to two, 30 seconds to go. Red line goes straight up the middle. Ella White's well positioned to intercept. She throw it forward. Foot race here between Mog and Nichols, but the ball will win. And that's three quarter time. So Norse with a, a couple of goals in that period to regain the lead. We'll be back very shortly for action in the final quarter of the clash between Red Lions Hockey Club and Norse. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet And we're back here for the, the final quarter of the match. 
Norths now with the lead and looking to, to try and control and see out a victory, their first of the year. And Red Lion looking to try and chase and, and get back into this one. Great steal, but unable to, to control and first pass out. It's given Red Lion an opportunity now, the ball in the circle. Mike Connor gets it under control. Beats one, beats two. Heads on the backhand, Shea Fielder with good courage. Seems to have just clipped her on the finger, I think. Yeah. She's tough though, she'll keep going. Bree Sui chops at that one. Managed to get a touch off Red Lion though, so her team will get to keep the ball. So Bailey Mog goes down the line to Emily Payne. Into the circle, through, good save, and well, cl well cleared, but cleared over the back line. So a short corner here to Norths. They'll be looking to capitalise, whether it's a straight shot or a variation, really trying to challenge the, the goalkeeper and the, and the defence here. So Robinson here to inject. Manhire appears to be on the trap. Bud on the hit. Or slap. Suey and White either side for a variation. And a hit it is. Advantage, Jago with the shot. And red lines clear. Good desperation defense there. Defenders did well to cover Morgan, go up Morgan in the net. Very courageous. Brisui into the circle in a long corner. The corner was worked worked quite nicely, but just wasn't quite clean enough. Bud had to do her wearing tap to get it into the circle to have a shot. Yep, those small details all take time, and, and ultimately the runners get out a bit closer and, and have a higher probability of running down the shot. Red line try and work their way out of the left pocket there. North have put a hard press on. Let's see if they can keep it down here. Man higher. Wins the ball. Needs to think on the move. She's just standing still at the minute. Phillips goes out to the right. Clearing ball. White picks up the ball, turns in field. Throws it out to Manhire on the right. Needs to think on the move if she can. Opts to go into the circle, but. Let's take a deflection, so it'll be a long corner. White will be on the ball. Let's see if that's her and Suey might look to link up. Into the circle it goes, but no touch from an attacker in the circle. Jake is quick on that on that attack. As soon as she sees the player take a touch, she'll she'll be in there. I think it's been decided that uh, the free hit had not been taken yet. A bit too <laughs> quick this time. Out to the right they go. Amy receives the ball. Throws it down the line. Heidi Phillips picks up Mike on a great receive. Beautiful. Cuts inside. Opportunity now. Enters the circle. Cuts back. Trying to find space, but Shea Field has done really well there. He's done an excellent job to, to really keep up with Mai, who was, who was She's going out pace. Yeah. Just, yeah, got herself in the right position to be able to control it again. The 
fatigue is setting in, I believe. And Probably North in no rush to take it either, I'd say. They've got the lead with 12 to go. Does give the opposition time to set up a good press, though, if they do take too long. <coughs> It does see. look like a lot of red ahead of her. Mm. Let's see if she goes opts to go around. Oh, looks like she's gone through it. And intercepted. <laughs> probably not particularly surprising. So with uh, just over 10 minutes to go here in this contest, we'd love to hear from you at home your thoughts on player of the match and if you think there's going to be a change in the lead, so a final score prediction. Also, if there's a young player that's impressed you tonight, don't be afraid to give them a shout out in the comments. I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. And it is great to see so many youngsters out there on the field tonight as we see Jane Butler just leave the field. But um, Janie's certainly gone, held her own tonight and, and a pretty solid player. Was in under 15s last year for Toowoomba. So great to see her stepping up and, and playing well in A grade. All right, North's Taylor Bud on, on the ball. Again, red line really well set up all around in front of her. And she ups to go back this time. Ooh. Sounded a bit fleshy, that, that one. Didn't sound good. Did make its way to a Norse player, but intercepted again by red line. So they're back on the ball. Man high up. Good tackle from Nichols. I thought she was in strife Very then. Brave. Yeah. Very brave. <laughs> I thought she was in big strife then, but Manhai pulled out fortunately. Good skills from White. Needs to accelerate into space though after she eliminates. Skyler Watterson looks to be in a bit of bit of strife. She's copped a ball, pretty hard ball on the on the foot or the the ankle. Still got a little bit of a limp going on out there. Number four for, for Lyon. Doing a good job. Stay on there though. <laughs> mm. Doing, doing a bit for the team. Mike on now. This is where she's dangerous. Beautiful pick up. Just throwing it out to, to the right. Gannon. Oh, dangerous jackal then sliding in. Lucky she got the ball. Connor goes back to Phillips. Chasing the game now. Lions. Phillips has pushed up. Ball into the circle. No strikers there. Every player on the right of the, the net probably would have been a great opportunity to have someone go in to the left post on that opportunity there. So he just uh, in a bit of a tangle there, loses the stick in the process. White right, wins a free hit. Bud throws it forward to a one on one. And it's six, 16 or a long corner? 16 was blown, but. Umpires have changed their mind. Long corner. Early pass. So we in a bit of a tangle there, just overcomplicating it a little bit. Does well to win the ball back. Beats one. Beats two. Loses control. 16 yard hit. Plan 
NC goes long. But Hunter intercepts, throws it forward, but it's a turnover. Bard goes round. Feeds it forward, but Phillips will intercept. Not cleanly. But still earns a self hit. Takes it early, but Hunter unable to control that one. From down down in the dugout below us, I can hear the dulcet tones of Ross Eibel. Rossi, yeah, Ross. life life member of Toowoomba Hockey Association. He's, uh, yeah, coaching Red Lion ladies tonight. Helping out, doing his thing. He's he's done plenty for Toowoomba Hockey and plenty for Red Lion over the years, but still loves it and, and still contributing. And he's actually helping us with our walking hockey. So we're going to start walking hockey, and uh, Ross is very passionate about that and, and very keen to to get involved. So that'll be starting after Easter. So if anyone's interested in walking hockey, feel free to get in touch with Toowoomba Hockey Association. You can do that by emailing coach at toowoombahockey.com.au and you can find out more information. A couple of comments starting to come in for our players of the match. Elka, player of the match is Dimi Yeager and Young Guns, Shay and Mai. Absolutely, they've been good tonight. Had a pretty good contest, Shay and Mai. They've been up against each other a lot of the time. Um, and it's probably 50-50. Mai probably got the better in the first half, but Shay's certainly been courageous in defence and, and blocked a few challenges and done some goal scrambles in front of the defensive net that's ultimately repelled the attack. Yeah, one of my favourite plays of the day where it, it looked looked to me like my would have been away. Um, mm. Seemed to have had a beaten, but yep. just that, that real courageous running back and getting herself in a, in a good spot just was able to, to break down the play and Shay did, yeah, did a great job in defence. Amy goes back here to Ainsley. Ainsley to Kira. Kira, good composure. Throws it forward. Phillips just lost out there. Brisui, just too much there for Morris. Just got a text message from young Stella Sui. And she was asking, can you let us know the score in the women's game? Oh, I should say, well, Stella, just check out the Facebook page and you can, you can see the live stream. But <laughs> shout out to Stella, who's scoring a few goals at Nationals for the Queensland under-15 girls, doing really well. in the middle of the field that gets the intercepted but does the work to get it back. Tries for the early ball but just another interception. Great tackle from Payne. Opportunity oh space if she can throw it in behind but great tackle from Clancy. Morris on the ball looking to work her way up. Throws it forward but Clancy intercepts. Just over three minutes left in the game. Scores still three to North, two to Red Lion. Red Lion will be getting getting desperate to get it back up their end, but they just need to remember that just just knocking it isn't, isn't what's working for them so far tonight. There everyone there. Mike kind of had a, an opportunity, but I think the defender in front of her kind of threw her. It looks to me like Bree Sui is kind of playing up front for the last few minutes for, for Norse. Going for the kill, going for an extra goal maybe. Butler does well, keeps the ball in play. Oh, 
tries, trying to work it in, but just it's not getting clean passes. And a free hit, taking it quickly. Right, free hit just outside the circle. North numbers around the ball. Gonna make some space for herself to work it into the circle. Good desperate defending. Able to repel the attack. Again, taking a little bit of time off the clock now, not long left. Plenty of space on the help side. And they opt to go all the way out to the right, but just not able to connect and it'll give Red Lion a sniff. Shut it down, but again, just throwing that ball away. What I consider unnecessarily when, when you are up, I think it's time to really control this ball, try and get it mm. to a corner. 30 seconds to go. Man high up, taking some time. Square ball on. Eventually finds its way out to the right. <laughs> She's got a bit of time there. Yep, Molly White to her sister Ella. Out to Morris, well played. Morris to Payne. Payne in the circle. And a corner, and that'll do it. Norse will win tonight, three goals to two, or potentially four goals to two. They'll have an opportunity here from the corner. And all the players will come up. And they are, they'll look to, to try and put an extra on away. And they, they went down by a couple last week. So yeah, yeah, lost by three last week. Lost by week, three, so, so nice good to... for the four and against to probably get an extra goal back tonight. So looking again to, to look like, it looks like they've got Robinson on the injection. White on the trap with Bud on the hit. Plenty of players on the edge of the circle looking for a potential rebound or deflection. Goes to Bud, she hits hard. And a save off the goalkeeper into the foot of the defender. But it looks like it must have been going wide. So it's not a penalty stroke, but another short corner. While this is all happening, we'd love to hear your votes for player of the match tonight. So don't be afraid to leave a comment below. And it appears up on field two that Newtown came away with the points. Well, they've gone the short push out. And a goal. And a goal. Emily Payne. Beautiful clean hit. Beautiful strike into the near post. And that gives Norse the lead four goals to two. And Norse with their first win of the year. And plenty of positives for Norse tonight. We'll be back shortly, guys, for, for our second game tonight, which will be past tie against Newtown in approximately 10 minutes. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon.